as you will notice in a second, this video is different, but you still should watch it to the end as if your life depends on it, because it actually might. For starters, look around. This is a construction site. It's the best. Oh, it has not been like that. I've tried to fight this war for the past some 10 to 15 years on my own, determined to finish this building, furnish it, get everything we need for our work and hook it up and have the lights on, kindly inviting you to join me in this cozy place. Thanks to a few misfortunes and the totally useless, greedy people at GoDaddy, everything I had built is gone, back down to ashes. Maybe it's for the better that everything I have worked so hard to build has been torn down, because maybe it simply has no real value if we don't build it together. Surprise me. The foundation is still there, the ideas, the concepts, and the need for this work is greater than ever. I too am willing to get my hands dirty and start building it again. But not alone. This time, I won't do it alone again. If you don't see the need to join me, roll up your sleeves, also get your hands dirty, literally work your ass off and sacrifice whatever it takes. Get lost, eat shit and die. Excuse my French. Because this is exactly what will happen if we don't manage to throw that tiller about and save the ship called humanity by bringing it into sync with Mother Nature. That might be a good moment to mention, just in case you haven't noticed that I don't sugarcoat. I give a mighty damn about political correctness, and if the evil, mean, harsh, and more than brutal truth of reality hurts your feelings, bad luck. Go run to your mommy and hide behind your skirt while hoping that there will be enough of us others to step out into the freezing cold driving rain to save our ship. And if you decide to join us at all hands on deck, a little warning up front. Don't expect those snowflakes who now run into hiding and are more concerned about their own feelings to ever come back crawling out from under their protective rocks and be grateful or do as little as thank you. Because you will always be the manifestation of the power they should have been the determination they should have had, the strengths they should have mustered. You'll be lucky if they don't outright hate you for your courage, because you will always remain a living reminder of their own cowardice and failure. You know what? There's not even some valid offer for an easy way out by buying some flimsy patronage that for as little as seven bucks a month an amount most of you won't even feel for a second, an amount that is no sacrifice in the least, but it sort of gives you the legitimation to believe that you're actually saving the snow leopard or saving the polar bear. Plus, they will even give you a toy animal straight from production in China, eventually contributing to the mountains of plastic that already are destroying our planet. This is an attempting to buy an alibi. And that is me being nice. Next, I really am no teenage girl. Long hair? Yes. Pigtails? No. And I also don't offer the comfort of some easy slogans you can write on pieces of cardboard and hold into cameras, which, bottom line, have no other value than to make you feel good. Allow yourself to believe that you actually are making a difference. Because you are not... It is not enough, not anywhere near enough to make an angry face and tell them old farts like myself what you demand them to do and change. We have to do it ourselves 
and we have to grow considerably in numbers to stand a fighting chance to succeed. For the challenge we are facing is to save this planet to remain habitable for also ourselves, no less. Because if we fail, all life will literally end. This planet will look like Mars, and that's not some exaggerated apocalyptic prediction for some far away future. If you are not already in your 80s, odds are that you will see this day come. You will have to watch all your loved ones lose their lives if you are not lucky enough to be euthanized before them. Scary thought? You're damn right it is. But if you're scared now, if you are asking yourself, but what can I do? It after all is just me. I don't even have any special skills. Let me tell you. Bullshit. You are all it takes to make a difference. You. There is not a single person existing today that has not even a single skill this effort that can only be a joint effort would not need. And whatever you might be missing in skills now, you can grow. You can get better. All it takes is you saying a very simple sentence. I want to. I want to join the effort. I want to roll up my sleeve and get my hands dirty. I want to learn what I don't know. I want to apply my knowledge and skills. I want to make myself available to the greater good. Take my place and I want to give my very best. Look at me. I am nobody. It's just me and this camera. It's an old laptop I used to chart down my thoughts and work on the concept for this project. I taught myself to edit these videos, taught myself to create the artwork for it, taught myself to edit the audio, to create a YouTube channel, to create a website for 786global.com and for humanquest.org. Even so, they now are empty again. All my work gone. So, I just start from scratch, together with you. Because if I can do it, so can you. So can we, if we only overcome procrastination and excuses and simply join hands. Can we win this? <laughs> you bet we can. For our opponents are either driven by greed or paralyzed by ignorance, and neither is a match for passion. So what the fuck are you waiting for? Oh, and by the way, don't worry about that pandemic or that virus, because if we fail, any virus will be the least of our worries.